Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Don't fall, y'all, while I make that turn. Um, hey, friends. Hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, first off, let me start off top by sending you love, light, and grace. Take what you need, friend. Take what you need. Um, I look a hot mess, y'all, because I literally... Y'all should see my, my routine right now. It's kind of... It's hectic. Um, I just worked out and I realized that I needed to run to the grocery store before I hop on my next meeting. I ran to the store just like this. I look a hot mess, but it's okay. So I have um, had some revelations this week that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities. I'm excited about the growth and the things that I am manifesting for my career in 2023. Um, I am going to um, head back to the house. I did pick up some Panera. So, I picked up some Panera, so I'm actually going to eat that while, I, while uh, I'm in this meeting, because I don't have to be on camera, thank God. Um, and yeah, then I gotta go to the theater tonight, because that's what I do every night. I be at the theater every night. No, we are like, we are in our second week of, of rehearsals for this new show. Y'all, I can't wait till the show is over. It's draining. It is draining. It, the play, the topic of the play, it's a race play. And it's just kind of draining because it deals with, of course, race relations. It deals with identities. It deals with stereotypes. And it's just kind of draining on the cast. And we have a very diverse cast. It is, um, we have, let's see, it's eight people all together. Um, so we have um, five black actors and three white actors, um, which is, is very good, very diverse. Um, and so, but it's just, it's draining on everybody. It's just draining on, and they act in their faces off, like they're doing an excellent job. Um, and so I know it's draining because they are bringing it every single night. So anyway, I said all that to say that I can't wait till this play is over and I can get my evenings back. So anyway, that's what's going on in my world. Um, I'm going to head uh, back upstairs to my office, have this meeting, eat my little salad. And then at some point in the afternoon, I'll get myself ready for the day. Like it's really weird, but this is what I have to do. As long as I'm in the training class, I got to do what I got to do to still get my workout in. So, all right, see y'all in a bit. Y'all, I had to show y'all this real quick. Look at this little bit of groceries that's sitting on my table, if I get my finger out of the way. My bill was $72. This is crazy. Like, grocery prices are just out of control. So, I ended up getting some chicken uh, breasts for tonight. I'm making Philly cheesesteaks for the boys. And my husband does not eat beef, so I'm going to make him chicken Philly cheesesteaks. So, I needed some um, chicken breasts for him. Some bananas, apples, lemons, um, more bananas. These carrots are actually a prop for theater. I needed some more creamer, and I was actually looking for a smaller container, but they didn't have it. I got some cinnamon bread over there. I got some um, hamburger-type um, buns over here. These are for the Philly cheesesteaks. I wanted these um, green goddess and um, naked juices here so that I could have something to mix my collagen in and my protein and hopefully this will be a meal replacement when I don't feel like making my own smoothies I can just grab one of these the baking was on sale so I grabbed a couple of packs of these and then these chips were on sale so I got my favorite of these but y'all this was $77 and I'm like ooh, that's my Amazon package but um yeah this is crazy I just had to show y'all this real quick crazy hey y'all so it is now sunday you know i know this video was all over the place i just kind of had random clips from honestly the last three weeks 
um that I just had to throw together <laughs> but my life has been pretty hectic for this month of January just because of the show and because I've had to be at rehearsals every single night Monday through Friday and so I just feel stretched very thin and so I really did not get to um, record like I wanted to um, that's definitely something that's on my goal list for 2023 is to be more consistent recording and this is something that I enjoy doing first of all I enjoy YouTube I enjoy watching YouTube I enjoy creating videos for YouTube but this is also kind of practice for me too because um, I just have to be more uh, comfortable in front of the camera uh, because of what I am doing, because of what I do for a living. Um, E-learning uh, and virtual spaces, is that's just where we are right now in the world. And so I want to be more comfortable in front of the camera. And so this is kind of double duty for me. Like I enjoy it on one hand, but it's also really great practice on the other hand. So anyway, I don't know how important that was or how much you care about that part of it. Uh, but the point is I need to be more um, consistent with it. If I really, really want to be good at this and be comfortable with it, I need to be more consistent with it. And that's the thing, right? We talked about consistency in a different clip, I believe, if I add it in here. Um, consistency is where the uh, reward is. It's where you see the, the results of your efforts. Um, we don't always want to get up and do the things that we have to do. Um, it's hard to stay committed to something, but it's in the consistency is where we see the results. So, into Hoodle. Um, I'm sitting here in the parking garage at church right now, um, trying to get my face together and get myself together. Uh, I've got another 30 minutes before church starts. Uh, we had to come early because my husband sings in the choir, so they had to be up there early but um yeah i'm just sitting here just kind of chilling reflecting on the day i have my chiefs red on because the chiefs play in the afc championships today and so everybody's going to come dressed in their chiefs red here at church today but um yeah just going to once we get home uh, the game doesn't come on until uh, like 6. So once we get home, I will probably um, do a little prep for the week. I've got some planning that I need to do. I need to plan out our meals. Um, am I going to clean today? I, I worked my butt off cleaning yesterday. I think I'm going to chill today on cleaning. Um, but just things that I have to do to get prepared for the week. So I'll be doing that. Um, my oldest son works at the stadium, so he'll be at the game. And so it'll just be me and my husband and my youngest son watching the game from home. And so, yeah, we're just going to chill for the rest of the day. I need to get some reading in. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching little bits of my life uh, on this video. And again, this has been today is Sunday the 29th. So these have been little clips from the entire month of January. I just have not had a moment to sit down and edit it and put it all together until now. So talk to you later. Bye. Hey y'all. Hey friends. Hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, <laughs> it is a new week, you guys. I am on my way to the theater and I just spilled soup all in my seat. I packed a little bowl of soup and it was still warm so I didn't have it. Huh, I didn't have it on here very well. I didn't have it on here tight since it was still warm. Turned the corner, soup went flying. So, that's how my week is starting. <laughs> and it is actually, it's actually um, Tuesday. Okay. 
All right, I think I did a decent job cleaning it up. That'll have to do it for now. Okay, let's finish our journey to the theater. Am I still dripping? I am. Girl, I done made a mess in the car because I spilled my soup. Uh, but really just wanted to open up the video and say, hey, um, I want to uh, just record this little clip real quick before I get on the highway because I just realized about myself that I don't think I like vlogging and driving. Like, I know that's a thing um, that a lot of people do on YouTube. And that's cool when I'm just driving around my little town and I'm not on the highway. But uh, when I got to get on the highway, I don't think that's safe. So, like I said, just wanted to get on here and open up the video before I hit the highway. So I hope y'all are doing well. Like I mentioned, today is Tuesday. I didn't do anything yesterday. Yesterday I was really just kind of blah. And actually, today I still got some leftover blah. But I'm trying to push through it. Um, I'm proud of myself because the habits that I have been trying to keep up with, like um, tracking my calories, exercising Monday through Friday, and tracking my spending. I'm doing a really good job at being consistent with those things. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Just thought I would report that in case that motivates you. But uh, I don't have a whole lot going on this week. Oof. If anything, this is tech weekend. So I might have some stuff to share with you this weekend about our tech rehearsal. Um, and then I do have kind of a networking, not kind of, I do have a networking event for work that I'm kind of excited about. Um, they, you know how they have ERGs, employee resource groups. And so the black employee resource group is getting together this weekend for the start of Black History Month. We're going to a black owned restaurant. And so this will be a great opportunity for me to meet people and network with people. You know, since we're all virtual, we don't spend time together in the office. <laughs> Um, so this will be a great opportunity for that. So that's really all I got going on this week. Not a lot, but I'm about to enter the highway. So I will catch you all in the next clip. Hope you all are well. Hey friends, hey. So today is Saturday. It is tech day at the theater, which means um, it's usually a, a really long rehearsal day um, because as the stage manager, I need to go through all of the light and sound cues. I need to do a cue to cue. I need to do what's called a dry tech, which is the cue to cue where I'm just literally going through the uh, script and striking all of my cues without the actors on stage. And then I'll do a wet tech um, with the actors on stage, uh, making sure that they're hitting, hitting their marks and hitting their entrances and hitting their lines as I'm striking the cues. So um, tech days are usually uh, pretty long days, but we at, at our theater, we have um, basically figured out how to make that process easier on everybody because we have great designers, our sound designer and our lighting designer have had those cues uh, ready for a couple of weeks. So I've already been practicing with the cues. So our tech day won't be as gruesome. So anyway, that's what's happening today. Um, first, I need, I'm here at Walmart and I need to pick up a few things that we need as props. And then I have an event that I'm going to for work. Um, our Black ERG is having um, an, an event to kick off Black History Month. So they have chosen a black owned restaurant here in town that we are all meeting at today. Um, so I look forward to meeting um, the Black ERG uh, group today. I'm not gonna, gonna take my camera in because I don't wanna feel like a dork <laughs> because I don't know these people. I don't wanna have my camera in their face. But anyway, so that's what's going on today. So I'll pick the camera back up after our little lunch um, at this restaurant uh, when I head down to the theater. So see you in a bit. Oh, let me mention too. Oh, it's probably hard to see. So 
So I have on my bold black and bougie shirt that I got from uh, Target's Black History Month line. And so I really love it. It's a crop hoodie. So it goes down to my midrib and then I have this tank on. Um, yeah, and so I love it. It's really comfortable. So see you guys in a minute. Give you a better look at our set once I get downstairs. <laughs> 